Hey guys, this is Rob Webster from Waxidist Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to use the Rave Generator synth. It's a free VST synth which comes in a 32-bit and a 64-bit for the Windows and there's also a beta version for the Mac. So um, I'm using the Windows version and basically following on from my article on my blog um, I discovered this uh, VST quite a few years ago. But the beauty of this is that somebody's put all the classic sounds together and created all of the, the classic sounds in one bank so you don't have to mess about sampling stuff if you wanted to rip off an old track that, you know, Todd Terry's sound, for example, or, or the, the sound from Landlord or whatever. It really is brilliant because it's been put together by someone quite painstakingly and they've sampled all the great records from the uh, mid-80s until the early to mid-90s, which is brilliant. So I'm going to go through the sounds now just to show you how cool this synth is. And just for nostalgic purposes alone, it's just worth downloading, even if you're not going to use any of the sounds for any of your actual tracks. It's just great fun to have if you're uh, from my generation, which loved that rave era from the late 80s and early 90s. Or if you want to add the sounds to your tracks and, you know, revive the sound. Um, it's called Rave Generator, as I say. And if you go onto the presets, you've got all these sounds here up like that. And the first one is obviously the classic Landlord Piano Stab, which is... You know, that sound is... So, um, however Landlord played, it was... However it was, he did it. But that sound is just brilliant, and it's just for that, that hard-hitting stab sound. You know, um, all those great rave records that used it over the years. And then you've got the Anastasia sound, which is... You know, a great iconic rave sound, techno sound from the early 90s. Um, Dish and Tell. More of a, like a, a 92 sort of hardcore sound. Uh, but then you've got the classic Inner City Nitro Deluxe sound, which is a... So that alone is, is just worth getting if you want to make some sort of like techno sound. Um, then you've got the house tab. Um, James Brown is dead. Brilliant. Um, overdub test. And you've got the Moby Go vocal. And you've got Brain Crash. Um, spirit. LA style. Uh, and Bizarre Ink D Train sound. This is just brilliant. This is just classic. Uh, psycho psychosis. Psychotropics use this for their track Hypnosis. Um, and Bizarre Ink, obviously. Perfect for that kind of real tough sort of funky house. Um, which I love that. And then you've got Todd Terry's iconic Black Riot sound. So, yep, yeah, classic house sound. Hit house. Quadrophonia, which is a classic rave techno record from around 1991, I think. I think that Midi Rain used that as well for their track Eyes as well, which came out in 91. Uh, Cubic, obviously. T99 again. Uh, Revelation. And the classic house bass. All these sounds in here are just all iconic rave sounds from that, that early period, which, you know, even if you just want to mess about with it, which is what I'm just doing, I'm just doing it for a bit of fun. Two Unlimited, remember that? Something like that, wasn't it? 
uh, hype sound, which is brilliant. All the classic sort of uh, orchestral hit sounds, which have all been manipulated and stuff over the years, which go well with it. Playboy stab, which is more drum and bass. And you got Marshall Jefferson. James Brown is alive. Siren effects and Hoover sounds. You like your hard house sort of stuff. You got your vocals here, look. Yeah, yeah. Daft Punk sounds as well, the funk. <laughs> which they use for their classic hits. And then you got this classic Finite One sound, which is used on loads of records during the early 90s. Just that effect sound with loads of reverb on that sounds brilliant. <laughs> More vocals. Let that Holloway. <laughs> and they're on. So yeah. So in terms of making like funky house and stuff, you know, in techno you've got your nitro deluxe, which is that classic sound, and then you've got your bizarre ink sound, which is more funky. And so on. So yeah, Rave Generator. It's just something totally different to the disco stuff I do. But I just thought I'd put a video together with this out there just to promote it. Because it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, go ahead, download it, check it out. And follow my blog. Don't forget to follow my YouTube page if you haven't already. And any problems, any questions, email me and I'll respond quite quickly. Thanks for watching and goodbye.